You what? son of a bitch. What's wrong? You sick, 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 sick fucking bastard. What's wrong? What, what is wrong? wrong? What is wrong? What do you think is wrong? So you've been having a little bit of an affair with one of my patients, huh? Who, who, who? What don't act about? like you don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Don't, don't speak! What? I just talked to her. She told me the who? whole thing. Who? 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 Mrs. Pollock. Amy? Can, Pollock, can I explain you something? You know Amy can Pollock. I explain? No, you cannot explain anything, you little fucking asshole. Will you calm down? Don't you tell me to calm down. What's, what's wrong? No, but because of I, what is wrong? I treat this woman, and she exits, and, and you meet her, and you fuck her. Supposing I told you that my fucking Amy Pollock was a disguised plea for more closeness with you. Oh, God, then I would say you were a mental case. This is you with your first wife. You're crazy. You know you were what? claiming that you loved her and that you, and that you couldn't live without her, and then all the while you're having affair after my affair first after affair. Wife, I told you I was laying in bed with her one night. I turned off her because the, the way the light struck her, suddenly she looked to me like Max Schmeling. What do you want me to say? I, and not that she wasn't a pretty girl, but she looked like Max Schmeling. I couldn't get an erection after that. Stop dancing. This is bullshit. Do you understand me? It is bullshit. With you, it's a completely different story. You turned off me. Oh, That's what happened ever since Hilly was born. You're the one. We've been living like brother and sister. It's been platonic. Don't you try and play blame the victim. What are you talking about? I'm. Hey, I'm as much a victim as you. You, you know, you think that getting a blowjob from a, a big bosom 26 year old is a pleasurable thing for me? Oh, you're making me sick. I can't believe this is happening. You're overreacting. I'm not overreacting. You, you, you Are you trying to tell me that every week for the last four months that you've been with her in the hotel? Oh, that's so crazy. I'm like, no, of course not. I, you know, I, we, I rented an apartment. Oh, I'm gonna kill you! No, you're, you're, you're kidding. Right you're, you're, you're kidding. Hello, doctor. I'm, I'm sorry I'm late. Mr. Farber, take off your coat. Come in. God. I mean, I've been, I've been losing sleep at night. I can't shut my eyes at night. I, I think I should quit my job, but I can't bring myself to do it. Maybe because my brother-in-law treats me kindly, but, but working for him is taking its toll on me emotionally. Could you excuse it, me, Mr. Farber? What? Continue, Mr. Farber. Uh, I. D well, you lost your threat. You were, you, were, you were talking about quitting your job. Oh, right. You know, uh, well, well, I've discussed it with my wife. And while she seems on the surface to be supportive, I know she'd rather I stay on. She idolizes Gordon. I mean, all the time, that's all she does is spend time with him anyway. Listen, could you and excuse just me a... just one more second, Mr. Farber? Again? Just continue. I can hear you from the hallway loudly. I want you to get out of here. I want you to get all your goddamn stuff together, and I want you to get out of here. You know, I cannot understand why the most sophisticated of women can't tell the difference between a meaningless, hot, passionate sexual affair and a nice, solid, tranquil, routine marriage. Hey, Harry, just tell me something. Was she the only one, or were there others? No, Amy Pollock was the only one. May God strike me dead if I'm lying. You're an atheist, Harry. Yeah. Hey, we're alone in the universe. You're going to blame that on me, too? Oh, stop that. Stop that. Stop that. You, you, you know, you turned off me first. Oh, please. No, I, I gave birth. You know, when women give birth, there's a time period where their hormones just sort of go crazy. Yes, sir. But they settle. Okay, so if you're telling me that you're settling, I accept that. You so accept the... that? Oh, Harry, you are so fucking nuts! Take it easy. Jesus. Harry, if you're not happy in a marriage, you don't cheat. 
I'm with my patient. Hey, Harry, that is a sacred trust, my patient. What do you want? Who else do I meet? I'm here, I'm working in the room, we have the baby, you're always out there practicing, we never socialize. So now you're blaming me because I don't go out with you enough places where you can meet strangers to fuck? Look, I was merely explaining to you why my choice of necessity is confined to your practice. Oh, God. I knew you were mentally ill before I married you, but I thought somehow because I was a trained professional that I could help you. Hey. Come on, don't, don't, the last thing you want to do is get down on yourself as a therapist. Oh, God! I want you to get your shit, and I want you to get your goddamn clothes, and I want you to get the fuck out of here! You are the most fucking irresponsible person I've ever seen in my entire life! Get out! Continue, Mr. Farber. Doctor. And I mean tonight, motherfucker!